what to expect digital transformation on our brand new lightboard take zero all right so i've been having a bunch of conversations over the last few weeks so welcome to the new studio because you guys have asked we have brought back the light board. But I've been having a ton of conversations over the last eight to 10 weeks about digital transformation, either consulting with clients or um, consulting with integrators who are working with other clients, talking about digital transformation. And there's a really common question that comes up um, from organizations. And that question is really what to expect. Like, what can I expect with digital transformation. So like, what does the journey look like? How much does it cost me in year one? How much does it cost me in year two? What does it cost me in year three? Um, and then what are the mechanics? Okay, and so in this video, what I'm gonna do is kind of highlight and answer some of those questions. So number one, I think one of the things that I take away from these conversations is how people don't understand what digital transformation actually is. but Digital transformation, remember, is the process of going from an industry 3.0 company, a company that has leveraged a third industrial revolution technology to automate um, manufacturing processes, to an industry 4.0 company that leverages IT technology and converges the OT technology and IT technology together to automate business processes. Okay, so that is what digital transformation is. You have organizations that have started from the ground up as industry four companies like Tesla. The process of digital transformation is built on the concept that I need to A, first, have a digital strategy. Okay, so digital strategy is the why do I want to be digital? Number two, I need to design an architecture. This is an architecture that is edge driven, report by exception, lightweight, um, not based on technology that is that way. And that architecture is the foundation upon which all the smart things in your business interoperate with one another. And last thing, minimum technical requirements. So that is, this is basically the specification that you give to OEMs, you give to your internal teams on the rules for connecting to our architecture to serve our digital strategy. So digital transformation starts there. You gotta have these pieces first, very, very important. But once we've got these pieces and we're gonna go and digitally transform, how are we gonna do it? Like, what can I expect, right? And I actually had a conversation with a client this morning about this and he was asking me the question, how much money do I need to have for my digital transformation initiative between now and the end of this fiscal year and then how much do I need to ask for next year? Now, the answer to that question is it depends. Okay, the, the answer is it depends. Now, based on our experience, we can give an organization based on the total number of assets, their current infrastructure, we can give them an answer about what we think they need to ask for. Okay, but the, the point is that digital transformation is this iterative process on a common architecture based on the minimum technical requirements in service of the digital strategy. But, but the bigger conversation that we had is what to expect in terms of the journey. Like what will the first 12 months be like? What will the second 12 months be like? What will the third 12 months be like, all right? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight that for you right now. So the first 12 months in general is focused on connect, collect, and store, okay? That's number one. So connect is all network stuff. Collect is data acquisition and store is data storage, okay? Connect, collect, store is the first phase of digital transformation. You connect to everything, you collect everything, and you store everything. Uh, storage is a function of real time. So when we create, and I'll talk about it in a later video, but with a unified namespace, we have current state, a structure of our business, we have the state of our business, and then we can store the state of our business over time, all right? But the, the first part of digital transformation is connect, collect, store. So network infrastructure, data acquisition, data storage, all right? The second step, and oftentimes this is year one. Year one, you are doing connect, collect, store, and then you are doing analyze, 
and visualize. So this is going to be data ops, and this is going to be um, data visualization. It's not just data, it's also info. So the second part is analyze and visualize. So really year one is the first time where you do this in a POC and a POV and the start of scale. Okay, so connect, collect, store, analyze, visualize. You're gonna do those first five steps in year one, okay? for sure. But the bulk of what you do in year one is going to be this, and it's going to be that. Okay? It's going to be digital strategy, architecture, minimum technical requirements, connect, collect, store. By the end of year one, you want to be connected to everything, you want to be collecting everything, and you want to be storing everything. You will do some analyze, visualize, and this is primary visualization, primarily visualization, so oftentimes it's ISA 101 visualizations, um, where operate consumers of data consume their data and information in meaningful ways from um, uh, data, transformed data and information from our infrastructure. And the last step in this first part of the journey is, is this blue? Oh, let's go with, does the pink look good or do, can I do the yellow, Jared? Uh, use the pink. The pink? The yellow and the green look good somewhere. Okay. And the last, the last two steps are, Analyze, or, uh, sorry, not analyze, visualize. It's find patterns, report, and solve. And this is ML, uh, AI, and BI, okay? The vast majority of what you do in year one is this. You do a little bit of this in year two, you do a lot more of this in year three, and you're continuing to scale this across your business um, in perpetuity. A UNS, the architecture upon which you um, digitally transform your business is a living, breathing thing. So find patterns, report, and solve is, most people want to start here. Most people want to start with ML, they want to start with artificial intelligence, they want to predict the future. In order for you to predict the future, you have to collect the present to create the past. So the vast majority of what you're doing in the first year or two is this component. You start in year two with find patterns, report, and solve. Year three, you're doing a lot of this. And we have, we have a couple of really, really mature organizations, digitally mature organizations that are in their fourth and fifth year of digital maturity, and basically everything they're doing is here. And then by year five, and we, and we see this sometimes in year two and year three, when we'll talk about this in a later video, they plug into a digital supply chain. So that is, they take what they've built here, their unified namespace, upon which they do all these pieces, and they connect into the supply chain. This is a, an important video on the what to expect with digital transformation. This is a very, very important video. It's probably a video I'm going to share with most clients actually going forward. Year one, you, you start digital strategy, architecture, MTR. Year one, you spend the vast majority of your time, connect, collect, store, analyze, visualize. This is probably the second half of year one. The, the first half of year one is doing all this. Then uh, you will, by year two, you're going to do more of this green one. And a little bit of this, by year three, you're doing the bulk of this, and you are maintaining and expanding this. And then by year four, we're ready. We have a large enough digital infrastructure that gives us current state, and we're able to predict problems. We're able to predict the future and mitigate those without having to react to them. And then we're able to plug into a digital supply chain, which then fundamentally transforms our lead times, our raw material costs, uh, and our overall labor costs, because what we're doing is we're engineering out inefficiency through digital infrastructure. All right. Hopefully that answers your question. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.